the MRAP is is by far superior to the Humvee. The Humvee, even though it it's wider than a normal vehicle or and it's clunky, it's extremely agile. It, that thing can take anything, basically anywhere where you can take a Jeep, you can take a Humvee, which is extremely surprising too. The MRAP for rolling down the road or rolling through the desert, uh, that thing's great. And it's roomy. While I was in NMCB1 in late 2003, or probably early 2004, we were in Iraq at an undisclosed camp, and we were working with an Army Apache squadron that was getting ready to make their way back down to Kuwait. And in doing so, they had a lot of items that were in trade. So what we offered them was that we would build them armored doors for their Humvees because all Humvees had at the time were soft or extremely flimsy fiberglass doors and so we were taking hardened steel panels and cutting them to size and and pretty much for lack of a better word up armoring Humvees before armor kits were ever even built and it seemed to work pretty good, you know. It's much better than a piece of cloth in between you and a bullet. There's a few things in the museum that uh, remind me of a few parts of my career as a CB. There's a, a vehicle that was actually one of the vehicles that we used when I was in uh, NMCB4 during uh, doing convoys. Luckily, we didn't experience any uh, IEDs. There's been many times where I've been um, in MRAPs or up armored vehicles and we're getting shot at, you know, we're getting bullets ricocheting off the car, or I've seen, I've seen Marines leave a base and an MRAP take an IED and drive right back like nothing's happened. The MRAP has a, um, a, a nice place in my heart because it's saved so many lives. I appreciate seeing all these items in the museum because it's, it's letting uh, not only the CBs here know, but all the people that visit the museum know what we do and what we, what we use. The one army unit, that Apache squadron, they did make their trip down. All we ever heard, we did ask, because there's three of us making these doors. We did ask about it. We heard that they made their trip to Kuwait, they did get hit with some sort of gunfire, and that everybody lived. So whether people got hurt, I don't know, but it was uh, pretty gratifying. 